Hey everybody and welcome to Dominion Cards. This is a video series where we take a strategic in-depth look at the various cards from the board game Dominion. Today we're looking at Sentry. This is a five cost action card from the second edition base game and it says plus one card plus one action. Look at the top two cards of your deck trash and or discard any number of them. Put the rest back on top in any order. So you look at two cards, you can trash them, you can discard them. If you neither trashed nor discarded both of those cards, um, then you have two and therefore you get to put them back in the order that you choose. Obviously if you trash or you discard at least one of them, then there's no ordering to do because you've only got one or zero cards left. Um, so there seems like quite a lot going on in this card's text, so let's let's take a quick overview first. So Sentry, first of all, it's a cantrip. You can see in bold at the top of the card's text. Plus one card, plus one action. So cantrip, we've talked about that in a number of our videos, but that's the name given to this sort of effect where the card basically replaces itself in your deck. After you've played it, you've still got the same hand size and you've still got the same number of actions. Um, so cantrips are really good. You can throw them into your deck and they sort of don't hurt you a lot of the time. That's sort of what you need to think about when you see the cantrip effect. Um, so the draw, that plus one card, does happen first before anything else. So what that means is that the cards that you're looking at, when it says the top two cards of your deck, before you play Sentry, that won't be looking at what is the top card of your deck. It will be looking at what are in positions two and three. Um, and that makes a big difference. That means that Sentry isn't going to be looking at cards that you top deck, um, which can be good, but it can also be bad. Um, so of all the stuff that Sentry does, uh, trashing is the most powerful thing. So trashing in general is a very strong effect for cards to have. So unsurprisingly, Sentry as a trasher, that's what draws people to Sentry the most. And it's really good at trashing. We're going to go into more detail about that later. Um, Sentry has, because it's got this mixture of effects, um, it tends to be quite good all throughout the game. Um, you particularly want it early though, and that's because of its trashing effect. Again, we'll go with more into that later in the video. Um, Sentry overall is considered a pretty powerful card. Um, it is right up there, somewhere in like the top 10% of cards, I would say. So it's, it's actually really, really good. Um, it does a lot of stuff for you and they're all pretty good. Um, it's also very generic in the sense that the stuff that it does um, is just stuff that most decks tend to want um, because you can choose to trash or discard as well. You know, there's a lot of things, uh, a lot of decks where either of those effects are going to be very good or sometimes both. So you can throw it into pretty much anything and it's going to be quite nice. Uh, it's usually a very high priority card. So you will learn as you play, like if you see Sentry and you think, oh, I've got to get Sentry as soon as I can. That's often a pretty good play. Um, it's a card that you want early a lot of the time. So let's talk more about the trashing. So Sentry is what we call a strong trasher. Um, usually, uh, a strong trasher, obviously that just means that it's very good compared to its peers, but I also like to consider strong trashing to mean that it trashes more than one card with every play. So a lot of trashers only trash one thing. If you get cards that trash more than one thing, uh, that's, that's a much bigger improvement than only trashing one, right? Trashing two cards is way better for a card than trashing one. If you think that if you want to get your deck thin, you need to sort of be trashing those starting cards at the same rate or faster than you're actually adding in cards every shuffle. Um, otherwise your deck's going to like slowly grow, which is usually what happens with a card that you only trash one card every shuffle, like your deck just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Um, but with two cards or more, like, you know, at the start of the game, you are adding two cards every shuffle. So if you can trash two cards as well, you get to keep that smaller deck that's cycling through all of its cards pretty quickly 
for a while, and then eventually it'll grow when you run out of junk. But um, so that's quite good. Uh, the fact that it's a cantrip as well, it's got plus one action. You can play multiple of them. So if you have more than one sentry, you could be trashing like four cards from your deck every shuffle. And like, man, that's going to thin you real fast, right? As you will have learned from Chapel, like trashing four cards. Wow, that's incredible. Um, so the big problem with sentry is because it's looking at what are, before you play it, the second and third cards of your deck. Um, that's means that you sort of don't really know what it's going to trash. Like It can whiff quite a lot where you don't find anything, and it can be a little bit random um, as a result of that. So it tends to be best at trashing when most of your deck is still made out of stuff that you want to trash, because you're most likely to find it. And that's why Sentry is very high priority, um, usually, to get it. You want it as soon as possible, so it maximizes the chance of getting the most out of the trashing. Right, like later on, if it's finding only one junk card, then that's a lot worse than it finding two to trash. And much, much later on, you will be finding cards that you don't want to trash at all, and then the trashing is sort of like petered out as an effect. Um, and of course, depending on the speed at which you are gaining things, will depend on how quickly you dilute the random, like average card in your deck from being a junk card. Um, so if you have something where you're going to start gaining a whole load of cards very quickly, um, then Sentry, if you don't get it as soon as possible, soon you will find that it's just too hard to actually trash to find the junk that you want um, to trash. So again, as a result of that, obviously as you trash more junk cards, the density of junk starts to go down and down. Even if you're not gaining things quickly, it will go down. And towards the end... Like you may find that Sentry was never quite able to actually trash everything. Um, you can still end the game with like an estate or a few coppers left in your deck because you just never found them, right? Um, and that's that's expected with Sentry. Um, it's a good enough trasher that you usually don't mind, but um, it is worth keeping in mind. Um, now, what's also really important about the fact that it trashes from your deck. Um, a lot of the time when you have trash cards, they're going to trash something from your hand. And that means that that's a card that you trash that you didn't necessarily get to play that turn. So like if you if you think about Chapel, which can trash a whole load of cards from your hand at once, usually what you're doing with Chapel is you're saying, oh, you know, I'm going to have this turn where I trash everything in my hand and I'm not going to buy anything. So you sacrifice a turn, basically. You just throw a turn away just to trash stuff and not add any more good stuff to your deck. Um, if you trash cards from your hand, you know, your hand size goes down, that's less cards to play from your hand that are actually doing something, like generating you money. So you can sometimes, with trashers, have these turns where you don't actually buy some expensive cards because you haven't really got any cards left in your hand. With Sentry trashing from your deck and also replacing itself, you get to trash two cards and you still get to get all the benefits of having five cards in your hand, right? So you can still continue to buy good expensive cards while also trashing. And that's actually incredible for a trasher. Like Sentry letting you continue to buy the really good like five cost cards while also trashing the junk as well. Like just really, really good as an effect. So um, the trashing is also not cost-relevant trashing, so it really likes curses and coppers and estates and all the weak stuff, which is usually the cards that you want to trash a lot of the time, so it, it's real nice for that as well. Um, let's talk a little bit more about the whole trashing from your deck thing. Um, so it's okay to buy another trash card with Sentry that trashes from your hand just to pick off those other stragglers that you wouldn't get otherwise. So I've put, for example, Money Lender here. Money Lender trashes a copper from your hand. So as you start to go through the game, eventually Sentry just won't be able to find those coppers. Well, either Money Lender can deal with them, right? And if you do get rid of all your coppers, maybe one day your sentry might find that money lender and it can just get rid of it. But maybe it won't, but it'll still be better than just having a bunch of stragglers left in your deck. Um, another way is that because sentry cannot trash cards from your hand, if you have a way to get the cards you want to trash out of your hand and back into the deck, you have a chance to trash them. So anything that discards from your hand, so there's Cellar and there's like Poacher in the base game, 
um, those can potentially, if you can draw through all of the cards in your deck, if you've got anything left in your discard pile, if you try and draw again, you'll shuffle it into a new deck in the middle of your turn. Um, and that means that Sentry might be able to find them and trash them. So if you are drawing your entire deck, um, then what that means is that usually pretty reliably then you can start trashing the bad cards. So something like Poacher, even if you're going to empty a pile in the game, it can be nice to like add one with Sentry because it can like discard the remaining straggler cards that you have, like an estate that you've missed. Um, it goes in the discard, and then as you get right towards the end of your draw pile, you can play the Sentry, and it'll force that card you discard into a new... Like you'll shuffle it back in, maybe on its own, and you should be able to find it then with the Sentry, right? You know like if your discard has exactly one card in it, then that is essentially like the last card that you will draw. So if you can draw everything... Um, you can very reliably trash the cards you don't want with Sentry. You have to go to a bit more effort than something that trashes from your hand. But you've probably already got a Sentry anyway, so it saves you having to buy some other card just to get rid of the remaining junk. Um, junking attacks like Witch, usually the curses that you don't want, they go into your discard. So if you're already at the state where you can draw your deck then what I just talked about where you discard the bad cards and put them in your discard pile, well, it's doing that for you. Um, what that means is that Sentry has the ability to find and trash the card. If you can keep a Sentry in your hand um, until you've almost drawn your deck um, and to the stage where you have at least one more card left to draw, because don't forget, Sentry draws a card first, um, you can possibly pretty reliably start just getting rid of the junk without ever having to draw it. Like, if you can trash the curse without ever needing to draw it first, then the curse has done basically nothing for you. So Sentry can be really good against some junkers in that regard. Like, some junkers are really slow or unreliable. So if you think about a card like Jester from Cornucopia, it will only occasionally give you a curse, um, which means that you've probably had a good chance to get your deck to a state where you can draw it, and then you just don't care about the curses that it gives you, because when it does, you can just draw your deck and trash it without ever having to worry about it. Um, there is some junking that's a lot faster, so obviously in those situations you might not be able to get to the stage where you can draw your deck, but Sentry's still a pretty good trashing card, right? So you're still probably going to get it anyway in that case. Uh, last but not least, as a note that I've written down here, you can sometimes get other deck inspector cards to help you find the junk. So, for example, there is a boon. Certain cards in Nocturne give you these random boons, and one of them looks at the top four cards of your deck. Um, and what you can do then is you, if you have a Sentry in your hand... You can line up some junk as the second or third cards that are on your deck from that inspection effect, and then you can reliably trash it. Um, whether you would go out of your way to buy another deck inspector when you've already got Sentry just to trash the last remaining cards, it'll be worth it sometimes, but sometimes it won't. So um, it's just keep it in mind, and you know, whether it's good or not is just something that I'm afraid you're going to need to figure out for yourself, I think, in a lot of those cases, um, because it will be very board dependent. Like, obviously, Sentry is no good as another deck inspector for this, because if the first Sentry you play finds the junk, it just goes ahead and trashes it. And maybe that will be better than buying something like from Hinterland's Cartographer that is just Sentry, but with just the inspection bit, like, but more powerful... Um, you might prefer to just have the sentry instead. I don't know. Right. Let's see how it goes. So that's enough about the trashing. Let's talk about the discard effect. So the discarding is real nice in the way that it um, lets you get past cards that you don't want to draw to save your draw for the stuff that you do. So the obvious one time in this case that you would use it is once you start buying provinces. Uh, you don't really want to draw the provinces in your hand. You would much rather find like your villages and smithies or your laboratories or whatever, or just like other good cantrips that are getting you money. 
So Sentry can sometimes find them, discard them, and then you shot past them without ever actually having to draw them. And that's that's really good for your reliability. This is why Sentry is so good throughout the, throughout the game. But um, if you can draw your deck entirely, then you don't just have to worry about victory cards. Any sort of stop card that is getting in the way of you finding your villages and your smithies, you can discard and then draw later on in the turn. So any silvers and golds, you know, like those are stock cards that you're probably going to want. Um, you can put them in the discard. And then at the end, when you found all your villages and smithies, you draw them back up. So if you think about how usually, you know, your deck is in a random order, you usually want all the villages at the front, you want all the smithies after that, and then you want all of your payload stop cards, like your silver or your gold. Um, your deck never is in a nice order. The game's super random. It's going to be all over the place. And if you are drawing your deck, then you've got to consider that anything that goes to your discard pile is sort of equivalent to bottom decking it, putting it at the bottom, because you're going to draw those cards last. So Sentry will just be putting your deck in a much more favourable order sometimes, in that case, if you're discarding those cards and drawing it later. Now, obviously, if you can't draw your deck and you really need, like, silvers and golds for all of your money, then discarding them means you just won't be playing them and um, then you might not actually have any money to do anything good with your turns. So, you know, play it by ear. Generally, once you start to see that you are drawing your deck or most of it, you might decide to start getting a little bit um, discard happy. Sometimes as well, you can just prevent bad draws. So like if you are looking like you just haven't found any villages and it keeps finding all of your smithies, uh, it might make you sad to start discarding a load of smithies. Um, but it will help you find those villages more easily and you might end up with a better turn overall, even if that means that, unfortunately, all of your draw cards, you just won't be playing this shuffle, right? Like, try and think um, when you're looking to discard cards, you know, can you draw your deck and do you really want to play that now like is it worth just not playing it this shuffle to try and save your turn those are decisions you have to make and it's going to depend on your deck again i can't really tell you the answer in this case you just but as long as you're aware of it and add that to your arsenal of things to think about um that should help you out a lot so lastly, if you don't trash or discard, then you get what I like to call a deck inspection effect, where you're looking at the top card or multiple cards that are on top of your deck. So Sentry, at most, can look at two cards. Now, there's some cards out there that care about the top card of your deck, like Vassal is the canonical example with Sentry, because it's also in the base game. Um, Vassal really likes Sentry, um, because it'll tell you what's on top of your deck. Um, but there's a way more cards that don't care about the top card of your deck, but care about the second card. So I've put Will-O-Wisp here as an example from Nocturne. Um, you reveal, you draw first with the cantrip, and then you reveal the top card. So that's like the second card of your deck. And if you find like another Will-O-Wisp, for example, it will draw it. Usually with Sentry, you're going to be trashing the coppers in the estates that Will-O-Wisp wants. But you can have multiple Will-O-Wisps a lot of the time. So Sentry inspects just enough for the whole range of these cards. Um, there are others like Herald and Magpie and all that, and it can really help these out a lot. Um, I'm not going to list them all. There was more that I listed in the Vassal video. Um, I think it's more important to just be aware of the effect rather than meticulously list all of the cards that care about it. You'll know it when you see it. Um, but yeah, Sentry's real nice in the way that it looks at more than one card. There are a lot more cards that it, that um, cards like Sentry help out. Um, and sent <laughs> sometimes buying cards just to look at what the second card in your deck is for these cards isn't a great investment on its own. So like Cartographer, that is just the discard bit of Sentry in the deck inspection, isn't that great. It also costs five. But Sentry's real nice that you buy it because it does trashing as well. Um, and that's usually why you buy it. So that means you just have these Sentries that are already in your deck. Um, and that means that sometimes it will just help out these cards for a card that you kind of wanted in your deck anyway. right? So that can be real good to make those other cards just a little bit better. 
when you've already got it. Um, it synergizes quite nicely and it makes your deck run pretty well, actually. So, how many sentries do we want? So the big, biggest problem with sentries is that it costs five. And as you've heard me say quite a lot in these videos, um, five is a very competitive price point. Like there's a lot, especially when you start adding expansions of really good cards that cost five. And sentry is one of them, right? Um, because the trashing effect of sentry is by far its best thing, um, usually you want sentry as soon as you can. And in fact, there's quite a lot of boards where sentry um, means that the first thing you want to do is get to five as soon as you can. So you can start taking advantage of its trashing early on. Uh, if you remember that um, sentry is a trasher that can trash two, which is great, while also letting you buy expensive cards and continue to give you good turns. Like it's gonna outclass a whole bunch of other trashers, right? So it can be a huge priority card and you can skip other trashers sometimes if you can just get sentry as soon as you can. So um, you're usually getting at least one sentry because it's so good um, and you're usually getting it straight away. Um, and in fact, Sentry is one of those cards where, because it's got the cantrip, cantrip effect, you can get multiple of them and support that no problem. So it's pretty typical to see people get more than one Sentry. Like one just sort of isn't enough. That trashing is going to whiff sometimes. And so you get a second one to make it more likely to actually use it as your primary trasher and actually trash the stuff that you want. Um, but... You know, depending on the board, sometimes there are just such good fives that you are still going to want something else early on and as a priority. So Witch, for example, is one of those that's a junking attack on your opponents. While I talked about Sentry being a pretty good junking attack, the reality is, is that you still often are going to want to continue to junk your opponent anyway, um, just because junking attacks are generally very strong as it is, even though Sentry's ability to trash the junk before you ever draw it in some cases is quite good you know that's sort of a a theory craft over why sentry is good that doesn't necessarily work out in practice because like junking is just it makes it harder to draw your deck so you won't necessarily see that um, the worst thing that sentry can do is be what we call a do nothing cantrip so if you play it and you don't trash and you don't discard and you keep the cards that you look at in the same order, then Sentry effectively did absolutely nothing. And while it didn't hurt you because it replaced itself, um, you did just spend five on a card that didn't do anything. Um, so that's, you know, eventually you will have enough Sentries that by just playing sentry you know you're gonna they're gonna start not doing anything like maybe they find other sentries or whatever um and so at that point you know like the opportunity cost is really bad because you could be buying something that's actually making your deck better instead of doing nothing now as i said in the laboratory video you know when i get to the stage where the worst thing i can find about these cards is the opportunity cost then that's usually a sign that i've sort of ran out of things to say and that the card is really good um so sentry um yeah it's a very good card you usually want one as soon as you can because it's a really good trasher and it continues to be useful throughout the game um, it has a whole bunch of cards that synergize with it or that it helps um, and it's just really overall very powerful. I think I said it was like top 10% and I think it is. So um, Sentry, yeah, it's really good. You want it. So let's uh, move over to the client and let's generate some base only kingdoms that have Sentry in it. And let's see how good this card is for us. So what's going on in this game? So your only other trashing is remodel or mine. Um, so you're really going to want sentry as soon as you can here. Um, you probably don't care for a remodel straight away because sentry is going to trash the estates. Um, artisan is super great here. So if you hit six early, you would rather get the artisan and then pick up sentry, I think. Um, I, I guess that's a tough call sometimes. Um, maybe sometimes you do just want the sentry first, but I think you could get away if you luck into six, getting the artisan first. It makes it easier to get a lot more sentries. 
Um, once you get the Artisan, obviously you can just throw a whole bunch of sentries into your deck and it's fine because um, the cost is really cheap with Artisan. Um, but your main draw is Laboratory, so actually you're really going to want those too. Um, and if you're drawing cards, then you don't have to worry about trashing them just yet. So you're going to open probably Poacher and Silver, um, and you're going to look to get Sentry as soon as you can. Now, eventually that one Poacher that you open might allow you to discard um, and get the remaining junk, like the Laboratories will probably run out. So it's like super nice in this case. Um, so yeah, Sentry is going to be really good. You're going to get a bunch of them, probably... You're going to buy one, whether you buy more than one or you just gain the rest of the Artisan, I don't know. The Artisan eventually might get you Throne Rooms. And eventually, yeah, you will get some Throne Rooms. You will Throne the Labs or the Sentry as like a village effect. You will play Bandit to get Golds. And eventually you'll get a remodel and you will start remodeling those Golds while the Artisan it might start getting you like Duchies and things. And you can support that because you have these Sentries to just discard past the Duchies, even though there's only like so much draw. Um, but it, you can throw in laboratory, so actually there's like plenty of draw. So yeah, pretty strong engine. Sentry does a lot for you. It's your main trashing, so it's really good here. Um, Artisan is pretty good with Sentry too. And so what's next? Here we have... Um, so we've got Chapel on this board. Um, what are you doing with Chapel? So you've got Village Smithy to draw. There is no buy. Um, so you're going to trash with Chapel. Um, yeah, you're certainly not going to go Gardens because there's no way to gain. You wouldn't do like Bureaucrat Gardens or Bandit Gardens. So you're going to trash down with Chapel. Do you care to open with Sentry? Um, I think if you opened 5-2, um, Sentry is going to be the best thing to get on 5 because you don't really want Bandit with Chapel necessarily. Um, and you can trash real fast, and then you can start picking up. Um, if you trash super quickly, you don't have to worry about Village Smithy straight away. You can build up to get a Bandit, and then while you're playing the Bandits for Golds, um, you can start getting Village Smithies, and eventually you've just got a nice density, enough that you can just start buying provinces one at a time. And I think that's all you're really doing here. Um, you're certainly not going to play mine. Seller's probably not going to be very good. Uh, just Village Smithy, you just want as many of them as you can get. Um, so Sentry, you may not get one, depending on Chapel. You're not really rushing. Um, if you trash enough with Chapel, then you don't really care for Sentry. You would rather get the Bandit. And you're just going to you have a thin deck, so Village Smithy is going to be good enough. You don't really care that much about the discarding. So you might not get Sentry here, and the only reason why is just because Chapel is such an unbelievable power card trasher um, that it's actually better than Sentry. Um, there's not that many trashes that are better than Sentry, but Chapel just happens to be one of the ones that is. So I can see Sentry not being used that much on that board. Um, it's okay. Um, it can help once you start. Well, no, the, you're not going to have that many stock cards, would you? Because the golds. Uh, anyway, sorry. Let's uh, let's see. Um, so you're only trashing a remodel and sentry here. Um, so you, there's witch. So you really want sentry. So you've got to hit five as soon as you can here. So no time for remodel. You've got to get poacher, which will be good later, and a silver. Um, and you're going to try and get sentry as soon as you can. Once you've got one, you might go for a witch, or you'll just get more sentries and you'll trash real fast. Um, what's your draw here? It is library, um, which is okay. So eventually, once you've done that, maybe you... Well, there's witch as well. Um, eventually, you'll get a workshop and you'll start getting villages, and either you go like village witch or you'll go village library. Um, if a par runs out like curses... Library and Poacher is quite nice, actually. You can discard to make Library better, and then that might help you with Junk. Um, if you can discard Junk, then, you know, Sentry can trash it. Um, Bandit Remodel is sort of a combo. So what you do is you will run through your deck with Library, look to play Bandit, um, eventually match the remodels with golds to turn into provinces and that's also lower in your hand size so you can continue to draw with library so you really want a fair whack of villages actually here um, so you're going to get a workshop and just try and grab as many of them as you can there is no plus buy so it's really important for the remodel to get you multiple green cards basically 
So, yeah, so Sentry is absolutely critical here. If you don't trash down, the Witch will completely destroy you um, because the only way you're drawing is Witch and Library and you're never going to pair either of those with Villages unless you've trashed. So Sentry is so important. Um, you might even get two sentries before your first witch, um, just because it's so critical. Um, if your opponent hasn't done very well with the sentry, then you might consider getting a witch over the second sentry, just to punish them a little bit, just to add that junk to their deck more quickly. But yeah, sentry is just unbelievably good on this board, and if you don't get it, you are completely toast. It's the only thing. Like, you must get it on that board. Uh, let's take a look at this one. So again, Artisan with Lab and Sentry. That's really nice. Um, we've got Festival and Throne Room as Villages. Uh, we've got a Festival Library as like a payload. Um, you got Militia. You have got Council Room Militia, but I think because you've got Festival, you're probably going to Festival Library, and maybe you just hit your opponent with Militia anyway. And what you're going to do is you're going to open Militia and Silver. You're going to try and get to Sentry as soon as you can, and maybe you get an Artisan. You're happy if you get the Artisan, I think. You're going to want to trash. Um, maybe you get a Seller at some point to help you trash the remaining stuff. Um, and then you are just going to start gaining... Uh, you know, there's Lab, Council Room, Smithy. I I don't like the Terminal Draw so much because there's Throne Room. I think you get Labs. The Labs might be enough. Um, maybe you go Festival Library instead and you just get a couple of Labs. That might be better because that'll be your main source of money because um, it's so easy. You can Throne Artisan and just get like a whole bunch of Festivals and Festival Library. Um, so yeah, that's what you're doing. Um, but you really need to trash to do all that. And sentry is definitely like the five that you want here. You want you want one or two sentries before you're going to start going into your festival library engine. I think um, if, I think almost definitely you want two sentries actually because you gotta get clean. And then festival library gets real strong. Um, and getting that artisan and just picking up all these pieces. Um, so yeah, let's hope that militia doesn't screw you out of getting two sentry. Um, And here's the last kingdom. So we've got Chapel again for trashing quite a lot. And we've got Sentry. Um, <laughs> and we've got Militia. Uh, but there's no village. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get Chapel. Um, because we've got Witch, we have to do it. Um, we are going to get Sentry. We may never bother with Witch because we have Chapel and Sentry. But I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to go like Sentry Vassal. Probably um, we're gonna we want to play militia every turn. I think that's more important than witch because sentry means that you don't really have to be playing chapel, um, and I think you're gonna be buying vassals and setting them up with sentry and then look to like end your turn on a militia. I think that'll be okay. Um, you're a bit sad, I guess, if you're forced to like play the militia before the turn's over, so you're gonna over vassal a little bit. Uh, maybe you get some poachers. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, but I think that that's actually quick enough. Like you can only buy one province, and I think you like ignore witch, and you just thin down super fast. Set up reliable vassaling. I guess you get some poachers so that you don't just draw a hand of like five vassals all that often, um, because you sort of want the vassals in your draw pile. Um, you sort of overbuild slightly for reliability, and then you're just going to look to wallop your opponent with militia. Like, with no village and the only other draw being, like, smithy or witch, I think you just got to get clean super fast. Look, Because when your deck is thin, you can play militia every turn as your aim, and your opponent cannot do, like, some sort of money strategy, like smithy big money, against just an endless militia onslaught. Like, it's just not good enough. Militia really shuts that down. Um, if your opponent doesn't trash as well, then actually Witch is also going to hurt them. Um, but maybe Militia is just better. Um, and yeah, so um, Sentry is really good for setting up Vassal here. So even though you've got Chapel, you're still going to want a bunch of Sentries anyway. Um, just be careful not to overbuild and get too many, um, because with only one province per turn, you do really want those provinces. And even if you're being knocked down to a three-card hand and you have no draw, Sentry's going to help you find the provinces and discard them so that they don't actually get in the way of your deck. So I think, yeah, so I, Sentry is absolutely critical here. 
as well. So that was Five Kingdoms. Four of them, Sentry was really good, and the only reason why Sentry wasn't good on one of them was because Chapel may have made it redundant. But even here, this other game with Chapel, you still want it anyway because it's really good for setting up stuff like Vassal. So... Yeah, I hope that shows that Sentry is just generally very good almost all the time. Um, it's just really, really strong card overall. Uh, very powerful. So get it quickly whenever you can. Focus on trying to get to five a lot of the time just so you can get it early, especially if it's your primary trasher. Um, and that was Sentry. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.